I'm your mom away from mom and today I'm going to teach you how to make a really delicious chicken and corn chowder that's got a little bit of cheating involved so you don't have to make the base from scratch. You're going to make something super delicious filled with yummy vegetables and white meat chicken and it's going to fill you up, it's going to make you feel like you've eaten something wholesome, it's going to make everybody around you that's eating quiet for a few minutes, it's kind of magical. So, hey, these are carrots from our local farmer's market, and the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the tops. Now, some people plant these. Um, I happen to have a friend who's got some chickens that will really appreciate them. So, The fun thing about carrots from farmer's markets is that you can get them where they're like transforming into some alien. Yeah, it's kind of fun. If there's any bits that don't look good, I just cut those off. And I typically cut off all of the tips because they can be a little stringy and they can dry out. They have a tendency to dry out, especially organically farmed carrots. Bam! Just like that. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna try that lightning speed stuff on some celery. We're going to cut an onion. So we're going to shred up this rotisserie chicken, just like, bam, just like that. All right, so I like to use the Bear Creek Creamy Potato Soup Mix for any kind of chowder that I have. It's basically just a creamy potato soup. It's got uh, freeze-dried potato chunks, and it's going to get us to dinner really quickly. Um, Another cheat that I like to use is rotisserie chicken because they're, they cost about the same as buying a raw chicken and cooking it myself. They're usually well cooked, they're readily available at most grocery stores, and it makes dinner happen a lot faster. So it doesn't matter if you are studying late at the library, if you are stuck in the lab, if you are uh, rushing home from work or trying to feed your family in between sports and bedtime or extracurriculars and bedtime, the rotisserie chicken is a great answer for a lot of the questions of what are we gonna eat and how can I feed my family something that's not drive through and deep fried. So I've got my shredded rotisserie chicken. I have my onions, carrots, and celery, which is a mirepoix mix. I've got my creamy potato soup. I have my Kitchen Ninjas, my red curry powder, my smoked paprika, and my garlic salt, which again, remember, is half garlic salt, half garlic powder, twice the taste, half the sodium, and I'm going to hit it with a little bit of Bragg's liquid amino acids. Other spices that I'm bringing to the game include bay leaves. These were grown in my own backyard from a tree that a friend gave me. Thank you, Molly. They've got a really good flavor and they just kind of add a little something that you can't get otherwise. And the other two things that I'm gonna use are frozen prepackaged mixed vegetables and, mixed, uh, and frozen prepackaged corn. And I went ahead and microwaved both of these so they're a little warm. So the first thing we're gonna do is heat up our pan. I'm gonna put what's left of this extra virgin olive oil. I like the light stuff. And I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of butter. And I'm just gonna let that start to heat up, let the butter melt. And then once that butter melts, I'm gonna hit it with the vegetables. So this is what we've got. And now it's all melty melty in there. We're gonna take this. <laughs> so I asked for long wooden spoons for Christmas and my son did not disappoint. These are great because I can stir from as close or as far away as I want. You want to get in here and just... So we're going to, what we call sweat the vegetables. We're going to let them cook until they start to be a little bit translucent and a little bit softer. While we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my seasonings, my organic smoked paprika, 
and I really like that in case you haven't gathered. It just adds a really excellent umami flavor. Here's my garlic salt, a little bit of red curry powder, and some Bragg's aminos for the finish. Already, what do they say when they walk into the house? Oh my gosh, what's that smell? <laughs> Smells so good, mommy. Once that starts going, you see how the onion is getting a little bit clear? Those are some sweaty vegetables. We're going to want to put both of these in there. And then we will just stir those up a little bit. It's a good time to go ahead and add the chicken. Get that shredded chicken in there, stewing around with the vegetables. Mm -mm -mm. Bay leaves are something you don't eat. They add a fragrance and a, an aroma to your meal. To give you an idea of how quick this is, I'm about to add water and bring it to a boil. So here's four. You can immediately hear that it stops spitting at you so much. And here's another four. Dong. Sometimes I like to just pretend I'm on the gong show. So I'm going to cover that up. I'm going to keep it on high and I am going to wait for it to start to boil. Once it boils, we will pull some of that out into this cup just the broth because this is supposed to be whisked in and because we've got so much goodness in that water it's not just water we want to pull off some of just the broth and get this into a slurry first before we put it in there as you can see we're at a raw, rapid boil a rolling boil which is one that does not stop when stirred i am going to draw some of that liquid off as i told you and then I'm going to mix the Bear Creek soup mix in here first so we don't get big chunks of powder. Because if I just put this whole thing in there before making a slurry, it will hold little chunks of powder together, the water surface tension on the outside, and then it won't uh, mix in and we want it to mix in. So here is where the magic happens. Whoa! I know, it's amazing! Whisk it around a little bit. Just get the rest of that. Now Bear Creek makes a good product and their soups by themselves are delicious, but they're not as nutrient dense as they could be. They're not as nutritious as we want them to be. So I'm going to turn this down to medium and I'm going to cook it for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, we've got dinner. Whoa. Well, our 15 minutes are up, and we have a delicious, chunky, nutritious, vegetable-filled, nutrient-dense dinner. Remember these bigger leaves you're going to pull out. We're going to pull those out and throw those away. They've done their job. They've given their flavor, and uh, mm, delicious. I promise you'll love it, and I'm proud of you today, and you should be too.